Hey everyone, it's me Bailey and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my 2020 favorites and this is going to be my favorite books of 2020. There are six books on this list and these were probably my favorite books that I read all year. Um, I really enjoyed them and I gave five stars to all of them. So I guess I'm just going to kind of go in the order that I read them. So the first book on this list is House of Earth and Blood by Sarah J. Mass, also known as Crescent City. Um, I read this book in June or something like that and I was still partially in a reading slump when I picked this up but I absolutely love this. I literally could not put it down like it was literally amazing like it was so good. This book is about this girl named Bryce Quinlan and her best friend is tragically murdered and so she has to work with this guy named Hunt who is like a fallen angel to solve the murder and figure out who was behind the murder of her best friend and honestly this was phenomenal it was absolutely so good like and I believe the next one is coming out in 2021 like late 2021 and I'm literally so excited for it so literally I absolutely love this and if you have not picked this up then I highly recommend it it was phenomenal so the next book that I absolutely loved in 2020 was The Poet X by Elizabeth Avocito and this book was absolutely phenomenal. It's written in verse and it's about this girl named Ziamara and she grows up in this family that is like super religious, super Catholic and all she wants to do is be a writer and she absolutely loves music and she just wants to write and that's how she expresses herself and her family just doesn't understand so she tries to keep it a secret when she joins the poetry club at her school but her mom thinks that she's like going to church and honestly it's just it was just it was so good like it was absolutely phenomenal I loved it. it gave me five stars so the next book on this list is one that literally just made my heart so happy and that is party of two by jasmine guillory and this book follows this girl named Olivia and she is a lawyer and this guy named Max who is a senator and they meet in a bar and they get into this relationship and they keep it a secret for a while just because Max is a senator and so they don't want their relationship to be out in the public eye. Honestly this book was literally just so cute. It had me in my feels and I absolutely I loved it. It was so good. The next book on this list is also by Jasmine Guillory and this is The Wedding Date and it's actually the first book in the Wedding Date series. Um, Party of Two was the fifth one but The Wedding Date is the first one and I actually did read this one after Party of Two and I absolutely loved it. It followed Olivia's sister. She meets this guy in an elevator and he needs a date to his best friend and ex-girlfriend's wedding. And so he ends up asking her and she ends up going with him and so they're having this like fake relationship for like a little bit until like the wedding is over and then they end up actually falling for each other and it was honestly so good. It was so, it was just really so good. Like I literally loved it. It was so sweet and just oh, literally loved it. And then the next book on this list actually it took me quite a while to read it but honestly if it wasn't for the ending then I don't think it would have been on this list just because it did take me so long but that book is The Wicked King by Holly Black. This is the second book in the Folk of the Air series which I actually did read The Cruel Prince earlier in this year as well and I really loved it but the ending on this just took it to a whole other level. Like, I was literally speechless when reading the end of this book. Like, it was literally that good. And so, honestly, yeah, if you have read this book, then I'm pretty sure you can understand why it is a favorite. But the ending was just 
absolutely phenomenal. And then that brings me to the last book that is on this list and that is the Bromance Book Club. This book was honestly just so good. It was written from a male perspective and it's him and his wife and he is actually a major league baseball player and him and his wife are actually going through some problems. They're having marital issues and so some of his buddies invite him to this book club that they have and they call it the bromance book club where they read romance novels and it helps them kind of get into the female mind a little bit and figure out how to fix their marriage and honestly it was very interesting it was a very interesting concept but the book itself was honestly so good i listened to it on audiobook and I was finished with it in less than a day like it was honestly just absolutely amazing and I really loved the concept and the premise of it and it was just very wholesome and just very like what I needed so all right guys so that is going to be the end of this video I hope you liked it if you have read any of the books that I mentioned in this video um let me know down in the comments or if you want to read any of them let me know as well honestly this was a really good year for reading for me even though I didn't expect it to be because it kind of started off a little rocky with my reading slump but at the end I ended up knocking it out and I'm absolutely so thrilled with the books that I read this year I hope you guys liked this video give this video a thumbs up if you liked it you can subscribe to my channel if you want to but you don't have to it would be awesome if you did though and I will see you guys in my next video bye